Public Utilities Regulatory Commission has announced a slight decrease in electricity tariffs for residential users. However, there will be no change in the rates paid by lifeline consumers and residential consumers within the consumption category of 0 to 300 kilowatts per hour. According to PURC, the 6.56% marginal rate cuts will benefit residential customers who consume 301 kilowatts or more each month. This information was contained in the press release on the Commission's 2024 First Quarter Tariff Review Decision for Electricity, Natural Gas and Water, signed by Dr. Ishmael Aka, Executive Secretary of the PURC. The Tigray State Electric Utility has said that the restoration of war damaged power lines and other electric infrastructure will be completed in June. The utility CEO, Mesfin Gabrimidin, informed the Ethiopian press agency that the Ethiopian electric utility has committed 1.7 billion baht to rehabilitate Tigray's electric infrastructure, which was significantly destroyed during the state's last conflict. The conflict has devastated Tigray's electric infrastructure, although attempts have been made to address the difficulties and assure service availability. The Pakistan Cabinet Committee on Energy has approved the commencement of work on its part of the Iran-Pakistan gas pipeline project. The Pakistani portion will extend 80 kilometers from the Iranian border to the port location of Gwada in the Balochistan province. In November 2023, the two nations decided to move forward with a 7.6 billion US dollar project with a new round of discussions likely to resume construction. The 2,600 kilometers long, 750,000 cubic feet per day gas pipeline has been scheduled since 1995 and was officially launched in 2013. However, it has been frequently postponed and has been stationary since 2019, owing to U.S. penalty concerns. Iran has already completed their part of the pipeline. This is EnergyGanaMagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by AirPods View Hotel. Energy Ghana Local in focus, global in perspective.